Hi, this is Jeanette with Running Shoes News. I'm here with Brian from New Balance, and Brian's going to show us some of the new trail runners for Spring 2012. Well, for Spring 2012, we have two new shoes that we're highlighting here as a show. Uh, the first is the 110. This will be available in January of 2012. Um, what's unique about the 110 is that it's built on a new last, which gets you lower to the ground. It has a four millimeter drop between the heel and the forefoot. Um, only has rubber where you need it on the outsole, so we have a nice solid uh, support and traction story in the forefoot with a TPU rock stop plate. We've cored out some rubber from the midfoot to reduce some weight and then kept some rubber in the uh, heel for downhill traction. Um, it's a lightweight EVA compound. The upper is very simple. Um, there's only two seams on the whole shoe. One piece, generally one piece upper designed to um, really have a lot of comfort and support while also being as lightweight and breathable as possible. Very cool. And how does this differ from the trail runners that you guys have made in the past? Uh, what's really unique about it is that it's it's really intended for race day trail applications. We've worked very closely with ultra runners that we sponsor, and they're very involved from day one in all the design and development on the shoe. So um, it really has their kind of seal of approval, and it's really intended for that kind of front of the pack ultra runner. So lightweight was key in, in this shoe. Absolutely. This is the uh, Minimus Zero, which will be available for next March. Um, this is about as lightweight and as minimal as you can possibly get. This is a zero millimeter drop from heel to forefoot, so it's completely flat. Um, the outsole is only put rubber in places where you would need it, as, as little rubber as possible. Um, the EVA is also cored out, so you can see right into the upper material, right below it. So not only looking at lightweight materials, but also how we actually make the shoe, and making sure that our construction is as, as minimal and as lightweight as possible. Um, this is five and a half millimeters all the way across of EVA. Uh, the upper is really just two materials that are welded together, very thin tongue as well. Um, this shoe weighs four and a half ounces, oh my gosh. which is about three, and a half ounces, mm -hmm. three ounces lighter than anything else in our line. That's awesome. So how do they compare to the Vibram Five Fingers? They're much better. <laughs> um, what's different is that the Vibram Five Fingers, uh, you do have your articulated toes, yes. which is going to give you a much different feel than having a, a full shoe on. Um, you are getting more EVA here. Some of the five fingers are going to be that much lower to the ground. So our positioning is bad. You still want a shoe. You want that barefoot experience. This is the most barefoot type experience that we can offer. Um, but at the end of the day, you still are going to want some sort of shoe, some sort of protection to your, I mean, to your foot. Do you have any tips for people that are looking to get into barefoot running? Is this a good starting point? Is there somewhere they should go before? Um, if you're looking to transition, I would say go slow, uh, think about it, do your research, make sure that you're, you're taking a smart approach. Um, the 110 would actually be a good transition shoe in that you have thicker overall heights here. So you have, you have more kind of shoe, more support, but you are putting your heel that much lower to the ground. Um, this might be a good shoe to use before going into a shoe like this, which is going to be that further down the spectrum and it's going to be a, a real push for some people. Well, thank you so much, Brian.